Are you a scientist or a science communicator? Do you think the internet and social media has changed communicating scientific and technical information? Have you considered becoming a professional science communicator but do not know how to start? If you answered yes in one of these questions, then come join us as we explore the world of science communication through social media. Only here at Group G Talks. In recent years, humanity faced various global challenges, disasters, wars, outbreaks. We faced it, endured it, and bounced back from it. But in the last quarter of 2019, the world was caught off guard by an unseen enemy that humans have never heard. COVID-19. As the pandemic began, not much was known about it. Yet people understandably wanted answers, and they wanted them fast. With this, many heavily relied on the internet and social media platforms for information. However, the plethora of unreliable content available, also known as infodemic, can make many prone to wrong information. So it is very crucial for scientists to communicate the SNT information now more than ever. Communicating SNT information is easier and faster because of the internet and social media today. But while these can help target many and spread information faster, scientists and science communicators should be equipped with the necessary skills to use these competently, aside from communicating there effectively. So what actions can they do to acquire these skills? We first need to understand how the internet and social media has changed communicating SNT information evolving from using traditional media, attending forums, and science expositions. A 2015 study shows that scientists are now adapting to the use of social media platforms. The study found that they generally used a variety of these platforms, with over 50% of respondents using Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. In a 2018 study, 50% of scientists interviewed actively shared and gathered scientific contents from social media, with more than 80% using them for work. So what are some of these platforms, and how can they be used to share SNT information? Here are some of the top social media platforms according to the number of monthly users. Number 1. Facebook The largest online social networking platform from Meta, Facebook allows its 2.89 billion active users to create profiles share various contents, follow pages, and be part of groups. Here, communicators and research organizations can promote research articles or showcase data and even visualize versions of it. Number 2. YouTube In this video sharing and streaming platform with 2.29 billion active users, researchers can upload clips that explain concepts or demonstrate experiments. Number 3. Instagram also owned by Meta, Instagram has 1.39 billion active users. It allows users to share photos and short videos with optional captions. Instagram's image-focused model can be utilized by researchers who can collaborate with artists to visualize data. Number 4. TikTok TikTok, previously known as Musical.ly, with 1 billion active users, allows them to create and share short-form videos ranging from dance clips, comedy skits, lip-sync performances, and many more. Various users, including teachers, journalists, and scientists, are free to creatively express themselves. Scientists, for instance, have utilized TikTok to create informational content, sharing facts, simplifying technical concepts or experiments, among others. Number 5. Twitter The microblogging site Twitter allows its 463 million users to share 280 character tweets. It has become effective in spreading bite-sized information that can link to the original source material. Its hashtag feature also allows users to find categorized topics. Scientists and communicators could also create threads of tweets or a series of connected tweets which can be useful when expounding a topic and drawing attention to related topics. Now, here's another social media that we'd like to add in the list. 
Number 6. LinkedIn with over 500 million individual members and over 50 million organizations registered, LinkedIn focuses on professional networking by allowing users to build their professional identity and to access and share knowledge, insights, and information to their network. It also allows users to create and join groups where professionals in the same industry or similar interests can connect and share content. On the downside, social media also allowed unvetted information to spread, which could misinform many. That is why it is imperative for people to be social media literate and be able to discern reliable sources. Now that we have presented the benefits and risks of using social media as a platform for sharing scientific and technical information, the choice is ultimately yours. But if you really want to make a difference in the community, why not harness the social media to share your scientific findings? And there are still a lot of options to choose from. You can attend master classes online such as Masterclass with Neil deGrasse Tyson and PsychConnect among others. Relay bite-sized science information through podcasts you can choose from Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, and a lot more. Or share your journey as a science communicator via a digital journal or blog. Your options are WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, Blogger. But if you're feeling extra, why not create a video journal through vlogging? Take your best pick. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Vimeo. Maybe now is the right time to create your own YouTube channel, IGTV, or Facebook page. Or better yet, do a live broadcast with interaction through YouTube Live and Facebook Live. To reach broader audiences, you will need to work hard to break out of your own social media bubble. These are some of the ways on how to use social media to educate and engage your audience. With the advancement of technology and the availability of different social media platforms, being heard and being visible is possible. But wait, there's more! Here are some thoughts and messages from our experts on the use of social media for SNT communication. As a science communicator, yes, I would like to encourage my fellow scientists to use social media. Information is power. Social media is a potent platform to disseminate scientific information to the general public. Sa mga panahon na ito na pandemya at ang tao ay hindi na lamang kumukuha ng impormasyon sa TV at radyo na pangkaraniwan na pinagmumula ng impormasyon lalong-lalo na sa tulad ko na isang meteorologist bilang isang scientist ay eh dapat din ako mag-adjust na ang online platform Facebook, Twitter at saka itong Instagram ay mga posibleng uh, pagkuhanan ng impormasyon ng mga tao. Lalong-lalo na halos lahat ng tao ngayon, hindi lang dito sa Pilipinas, kundi sa iba pang bahagi ng mundo, eh, nakatutok na ngayon sa internet. My message to those scientists who aspire to use social media as a platform to share the science and technology information is to use it wisely as a force for good against misinformation and disinformation and not for plainly self-promotion of our own work. Don't miss the chance to educate and empower users of social media about your researches. Social media is a vital bridge to connect ordinary people and scientists to create a world of understanding through research and communication. Sa mga kapwa ko scientists o mga technical person, eh, kinakailangan po na mag-adjust tayo. Alam natin yung ating subject matter. Pero ang mahalaga, kapag ba ako'y nagbalita, naiintindihan ito ng mga tao, lalong-lalo na yung mga kabataan. So, kailangan na gumamit tayo ng lingwahe na mas maiintindihan ng mga tao. So, it's high time na tayong mga scientists ay mag-adjust para sa online news. There you have it, folks. We hope that you have learned a lot from our presentation. Remember, your voice matters. And the responsibility to communicate science and technology to the general public lies in your hands. See you next time, only here on Group G Talks.